Hey guys, we found some outstanding travel trailer floor plans with front kitchens. You're gonna be blown away. Stick around folks, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, well, cheers and welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing. And if you like this video, we sure invite you to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell when you do so you'll be reminded every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get into our reviews of awesome travel trailers with front kitchens. This travel trailer is the Forest River Flagstaff Microlite model number 25 FKBS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,049 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,723 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 7,772 pounds. The hitch weight is 772 pounds, the length is 25 feet 11 inches long, and it sleeps up to two people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, on the right hand side you can't help but notice the front kitchen in here with the big front window. As we wrap on around we go into the theater seating and sort of dinette area, and then you have your entertainment center here. In the center of this RV is where the bathroom is located, and all the way towards the back is where the bedroom is located. Now my first impression when walking in here is that this feels like a much larger camper than it really is. I think it only it's only like 25 feet 11 inches long, but you just feel like you get so much more space in here. Now one of the reasons for that is because of this front kitchen setup. And I really think this is a fantastic way to set up an RV for a couple of reasons. Number one, you get all this countertop space in here because you really have sort of a U-shaped kitchen in here, but in this area it's a L shape and it gives you a ton of extra countertop space. And then of course you also have this nice big window because normally you can't look out the front of your camper, but now you can look out front, check out the views there, get extra light in. I think it's just a really, really cool setup. Now starting from this side of the kitchen, up top here we have a microwave oven and everything's still packaged up in there, you know, the round glass dish and all that. Next to that, there's an open cubby storage area here. Then down below your microwave, you have your range top. You've got a nice three burner stove, which is fantastic. And then down below that, we have a real oven. Now, we get a couple of questions about ovens all the time, uh, both on the YouTube comments and also in our private Facebook group. And then some folks even email us. And they want to know a couple things. First of all, why are there five knobs on an oven that has a three burner stove? Shouldn't it just be three knobs and one extra burner for the oven? Well, that's true, but one of these knobs is also a sparker. So uh, if we had any electricity in here, I could show you that. But what it is, is you turn on your knob for your gas, wherever burner you wanted to come out, and then you turn on the sparker and that ignites the fire. And the same thing is true down in the oven area. And then the second question we get about RV ovens all the time is, why is there only one shelf in here, not two, like your residential oven at home? And the reason for that is because the burners that heat the oven are right here. I mean, they're in the oven, they're pretty high up, and if there were two shelves in here, you know, the bottom shelf, if you set it too low, whatever you put there is going to get burnt every time. So really, there's practically, practically speaking, only enough room for one shelf in here. And then just below your oven here, you have another drawer for some small pots and pan storage. So as we wrap on around the kitchen, you'll notice up top here that you've got these three doors that open. It's all open storage behind the doors, so you can take plenty of advantage of that area. You also have a light out here, which will light up, plus two more underneath. So your countertop area is gonna be very well lit. Now back in this corner here, there are a couple of receptacles. And so, I mean, you could have a, coffee maker, toaster, all that set up right here, and it's perfect. It's nice and out of the way. There's even a little window off to the side for even more lighting. And then it's got this just massive single bowl sink in here, which is fantastic. I mean, it's great for washing dishes and all your bigger pots and pans. And then it's even got these dish drains that sit right on top. Um, and then as we wrap around past here, we have another receptacle over here in the corner with some USB ports so you can plug things in there if you like. Now down below all of this, 
We have additional storage and plenty of it underneath of the kitchen sink area. And then there are four drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. Now, just past the kitchen sink and countertop area, there's a very large pantry closet here too. And this is really deep. It is, gosh, 28 and a half inches deep on the inside and probably about 13 and a half inches wide on the inside too. So you have plenty of storage here, both up and down. So you can plant, you know, store all kinds of dry foods. And then finally, we have our refrigerator and freezer. They put the outside shower stuff in here. They're not done unpacking this RV yet. It's brand new, sitting on a dealer lot. But you can see you've got a very good size freezer and a good size refrigerator in here as well. This is a 12 volt model. So this does run off of your battery. Uh, and when you're plugged into shore power, that will charge your battery because your fridge is running off of the battery. Now, one last feature that could be related to the kitchen or could just stand alone is the closet just inside the entry door. Now, there are removable shelves that are in here, so you can use the hooks on the back and just use this as a coat closet, or you can keep the shelving in here and use it for additional storage for just general purposes or as part of the kitchen. So as we wrap around past the kitchen area, now we get into the living area of this camper. And I like the way that it's set up. Now this particular model has this recliner seating in place. Um, so both of these seats recline, they are electric and we don't have power in here right now, so I can't, I can't do it, but they're very, very comfortable to sit on. And then they have these really cool side tables. Now these are some really nice side tables probably one of the best setups I've seen yet because they're very, very sturdy. You know, they move around very, very easily. They stow away like this one over here very easily and they're at the right height. And you can also adjust the height on these too uh, to make it just right for yourself. And this is in the perfect position because as you'll see in a minute, the TV is directly across from us. So you can sit here, relax, have a meal, watch TV, whatever you'd like to do. Now, this is also a super comfortable uh, comfy recliner as I mentioned and in the middle here this piece pops on down and then you have a couple of you know drink holders here and there's even a spot here for a receptacle and a couple of USB ports. Now one reason I think that this area helps to create a nice big floor plan in here is because this is a slide out that I'm sitting in and this is a deep slide out. I mean on the inside gosh it's about 41 inches so uh, pretty deep slide out. So it really gives you a lot more floor space in here and makes this really a comfortable spot to sit. And then finally, I like that they have a window behind you here to let in additional light. You can open the window and get a cross breeze in and you even have a side window here as well. There's also a light up top which will shine down. So, you know, if you're eating dinner and you want some light or reading a book, you have all that with you as well. Now, directly across from the recliners is where the entertainment center is located. And like I just mentioned, the TV is located straight across from the recliners. Perfect spot. Uh, I would even put a bigger TV in here if I could, but this is a great spot for it. And then down below that, of course, you know, you've got your receptacles and you've got your cable TVs and all that. But down below, you have some open storage. And then finally, you have a fireplace down below to give it a really nice ambiance inside your camper. So here I am in the bathroom, which is located in the middle of this trailer. Um, I like the location of it because it does have two doors and one of them is a door that will close it off from the entertainment and kitchen area. And the other door, there is a bedroom door that will slide and close and cut off the bathroom as well. So uh, I think it's in a good location and it certainly seems to work very well. It seems nice and big and spacious in here. Now they even have a corner style shower in here, which I like. Uh, I, I get a little pushback on it from people that also have them that they don't like them as much. They feel like there's not enough uh, elbow room in them. So let us know in the comments down below what you think if you have this style of shower in your RV. Do you have enough room in there or not? But just standing in the shower, um, from the shower floor up into the skylight, let's see how much room we have here. Now we have like six feet, six inches of space. So plenty of headroom there. And it generally in the majority of the trailer, just regular headspace, you have about six feet, eight inches of headspace. So for you taller folks, I think you'll be able to 
fit in here very, very comfortably. Now this corner shower behind me here has a couple of shelves where you can put your soap bottles and shampoo and things like that. It also comes with this little mesh pouch so you can uh, tuck some things in here for storage. And then finally, you can just close your glass doors, take a nice shower in here and not worry about getting water everywhere or having a shower curtain blow in on you or things like that. Now, just outside of the shower, they have a nice big wide medicine cabinet here. So there's plenty of storage space there. Down below that, you've got your vanity, which is a good size vanity sink for a trailer bathroom, lots of countertop space. And I don't see a receptacle here anywhere. Oh, right here up front. Thanks, Susan. Didn't see that one. And then finally, down below, you have some additional storage as well. Now, Susan is standing in the shower and I'm standing across from her, sort of at the entry into the bedroom. But this is where the commode is located. Just above that, we have a nice big linen closet here. And there's plenty of room in there for all your towels and linens and all that good stuff. And then, of course, sitting on the toilet, it feels really big and roomy in here. There's really nothing in front of me that's in my way. Even with both doors shut, it still feels roomy. As far as the elbow test goes, and eh, we're not going to pass that, but I don't think we really need to in here. This is a big enough bathroom that it feels very, very comfortable. Now, finally, here we are in the very back of this travel trailer in the owner's bedroom. Nice thing is it does have its own door, so it can be separate from the rest of the trailer. And it's a very nice setup. Over top of the bed, you'll notice that we have these three cabinet doors with black glass inlay uh, all open behind them, so you've got lots of storage. Then over top, you have a couple of reading lights. Each reading light also has a USB port built into it, so you can plug a phone in or something and put it right on top of these window valances and charge your phone overnight that way. There's also a little shelf on each side of the bed. And you'd have to have your cord kind of run from up top to down there to put your phone there and charge it in. I'd probably just throw my phone right up top here. I also keep my remotes up here so we don't lose them. But anyway, uh, the bed itself, let's see how big this is. And I really like this headboard feature too. What do you think about that, hon? Yeah, good looking. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, so let's see what the distance is here. We've got about 80 inches and the width on it is 60 inches. So we have a residential sized queen bed in here. Now, another nice feature here is we also have windows on each side of the bed so you can get some cross breeze in here. There's another light up here to help light up the bed even more. And then under your bed, this does lift up. You've got a couple of drawers that you could pull out without lifting the bed but then you also have additional storage behind the drawer space. The TV location is a great spot right next to the wardrobe and just above you can see the rough-ins for the electric and cable TV. So also in this bedroom, it has a very nice sized wardrobe closet in here. Uh, so this is about two feet deep. You can hang all your garments in here, still place things on the floor in here for additional storage, but it's all mirrored and it's really just a great feature to have. And then down below that, we have a couple of large drawers for storage and another cabinet door as well. And then next to your wardrobe cabinet, this bedroom even has its own entrance in and out of the camper. Now, a lot of folks really like to have two ways in and out of their camper without having to use the emergency exit window because they're afraid they can't get out the window or once they get out, it's a really far drop down to the ground. So this is a great feature to have both for safety and just for convenience. Uh, if someone, if you got like kids out in the other room that are sleeping, you can sit out by the fire and be able to come into your bedroom without having to walk through the camper and wake everyone up. Uh, but a very nice setup in here. Now, one thing I noticed in here that's a little bit of a concern for me is if you look up on the ceiling, there are only two ceiling vents in this room for your air conditioning. And there's only one air conditioner in the whole camper. And so... Uh, let's walk out and we'll talk about that a little bit. So this style of air conditioning system is what's called a ducted air conditioning system. So air will pour out of, of the air conditioner itself. You can open these two little dampers up and it'll pour right out into the room or you can close these and now that forces the air into the ducted system which runs through the roof of this RV. And you'll notice there are four vents out here in the kitchen and living area. Then there's another vent or two in the bathroom. And then there's just two more vents in the bedroom. 
And I would be afraid that it would get hot in the bedroom because it's just not enough air to go around. Part of the reason for that is because RV air conditioners are very, very inefficient. And so when you close these little dampers to keep the air from just dumping into the room, what happens is the amount of airflow that comes out of the vents isn't as good as you would expect it to be. And also these air conditioners are very loud and this is right where your TV is. And so in our RV, we just did a nice upgrade where we added uh, a way to both increase the efficiency of our air conditioner and also how to make our air conditioner quieter. And this kind of a trailer is perfect for both of those remedies because you need it to be quieter so you can watch your AC and you need as much air efficiency as possible to get as much air through your ducted system as possible or your bedroom's gonna be very, very hot. I've got a couple links and I'll stick them in the notes down below if you wanna see what we did to make some corrections in an RV and it made life a whole lot better. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Mini model number 2832FK. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,636 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 2,164 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 8,800 pounds. The hitch weight is 896 pounds. It measures in at 32 feet long and it can sleep up to five people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side is where the front kitchen is located. Then we wrap on around into the living and dining area. Behind me here is the mid bath and at the very front of this trailer is where the owner's bedroom is located. Now our first impression when we walked into this trailer is this is great because we love front kitchens. We think they just look really, really cool uh, and they're just a unique design. But in addition to that, we have a very open floor plan and that's mainly because the theater seating and the refrigerator are in a three foot slide out. So it creates a lot of floor space inside of here. In addition to that, Winnebago has this great sleek design it looks very modern and all their cabinetry is very light but then they contrast that with their dark hardware and it just gives you a really nice feel when you're in here now starting right from the entry door you'll notice that we have a big l-shaped kitchen in here and that gives you plenty of countertop space starting from the top and working our way down you have all of these nice storage cabinets built in here some of them have built-in shelving and others are just wide open so depending on the type of storage you need you have either one of those options to use so up top here we have a convection style microwave oven just below that you have your range hood and then a three burner stove now since you have a convection microwave instead of there being an oven under here you have a nice large drawer for pots and pan storage and then down below that is where your fuse box is located speaking of fuses the fuses that are used in an RV are just like the fuses that are used in your car. I suggest everybody pick up a multi-pack of fuses, keep them on board. If anything blows, you have one that you can easily replace it with. Now, just next to your cooktop area, you've got some countertop space here with an outlet behind. You've also got all this countertop space behind the sink with another outlet. So if you need to plug in any kitchen appliances or anything, you've got plenty of room to be able to do that. The sink here is a nice big single bowl sink, really good size. And then it's got this nice gooseneck faucet overhead with an integral sprayer as well. And as we continue wrapping on around, put these covers down, you have even more countertop space here too. And you've got a window here to let in some natural light into your kitchen area. Now, just below the countertop area, we have three drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. And there's even more storage under the kitchen sink. Now, just past your convection microwave and your cooktop, you have some pantry cabinets here. This is a nice big cabinet with built-in shelving. And then they even have a couple of extra drawers here as well. And then just behind me is where your refrigerator is located. Now, this is a absorption style refrigerator. So this runs on propane or shore power, either one. Um, luckily, it has a separate freezer and refrigerator and they're you know pretty good size for this size of trailer now here i am sitting in the theater sitting seating in this uh, particular model now this comes standard with a tri-fold sofa but they're showing the upgraded theater seating in here and these are really nice comfy seats i gotta say i mean i wish ours were this comfortable uh, they do have a little manual 
pool here so you can sort of kick back and relax. And they're in perfect position because the TV is loaded, located straight across from here and over top of the dinette, but we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Now there are a couple of cup holders built into here and you have your center console to hide away all of your remote controls. And I'm amazed at how many remote controls there are in, in some of these uh, RVs, it's crazy. I know in ours we have what, eight of them? It's insane. But anyway, you can stow them all away in there so you don't lose them. Now on either side, you have a little end table and each of the end tables have a receptacle and USB ports on them. I wish they brought this one out a little further. It seems kind of far back. The other side I understand because the refrigerator limits how far that end table can pull forward. But you know, that's a really minor little thing. Behind me here, you have this large window that you can open up and get a nice cross breeze through. And it just lets in a ton of natural light. And then overhead, there's a light up here. So if you're reading or you need a good amount of light, that is certainly available as well. And then just to my right, there is another window here too. Now, just directly across from the theater seating is where the dinette is located. But right next to and under the dinette, over here by the entry door. They have a dog bowl, a couple dog bowls under here. So if you have a pet, maybe that's a great place to put those, or you could always use that spot to like kick your shoes underneath and store them there. Now the dinette itself has these cabinets above and a nice big TV built in here. All of your radio controls are here as well. And then you've got a cabinet on each side for a little bit of storage. I like the fact that the dinette is on the camp side of this RV with a nice big window. So your view while you're sitting at your dinette is your campsite. You can see your picnic table, your fire ring, all that good stuff. Now, when you're sitting here, you know, you could easily seat four people at this dinette and it's very, very comfortable. I don't know what they're doing for cushions in here, but these are very, very comfy cushions. That is for sure. Now the dinette table also will drop down and this can convert into a bed. And let's take a look at that and see how big it would be. So if you were going to do that, you would end up with about 70 inches and then it's about uh, 42 inches wide. So a smaller adult, and certainly any kid, would be able to sleep in this spot. Now there's also a couple other things to mention. Both of the dinette booths have storage underneath of them. This booth has a little door that you can access, but you can also pull the cushions off of both of the booths and access the storage under there. And then one last thing to point out is that underneath of this cabinet over here there is a receptacle so if you're working at your dinette table like doing trip planning or just getting some work done you have a place to plug in your computer if you need to charge it up so now susan is standing in the mid bath which is right after the uh, dining and living area and before the bedroom and this is a good size bedroom in here and there are a lot of nice features in here as well. First thing we're gonna do is start out by measuring the bed to see what size bed we have in here. Now this one is 80 inches long and I'm pretty sure it's 60 inches wide and it is. And so this would be considered a residential queen size bed in here, which is great, especially for you taller folks that need a full size bed length. Now up above the bed, you'll see that you have a window on the back of this trailer to let in lots of natural light, or you can open it up and get some ventilation in here. There's also a window on each side of the bedroom so you can get some really nice cross breezes. Then you'll notice over top of the bed, you've got this nice open storage area here with a couple of lights underneath. These can be turned off and on independently so you can use them as reading lights. On each side, there's a wardrobe cabinet so you can hang your garments in there and they're tall enough that you could still get some storage in the bottom of these cabinets as well. Then we have a nice big end table on both sides of this bed with a receptacle and USB port. So for you folks that need a CPAP machine, this could be a really great convenient setup for you. Now, a couple other things to note in here is just to my right, there's actually a second entry door. And this is great, especially if you have kids, maybe they're sleeping on the trifold sofa out in the main area and you don't want to disturb them when you come in from hanging out at the campfire. You can just come in your separate entry door to access your bedroom. Finally, your TV location goes right up above here. You've got a receptacle and cable outlet there, so you're all set to go. And then you have another cabinet here underneath. It's not too deep, maybe seven inches deep, but it's available for more storage. 
Oh, one last thing I almost forgot. The bed does flip up and that you can access the storage under here. But as you can see, you can also access the storage from the front and both sides of the area. So you have tons of ways to get to all your stored items. So here we are in the mid bath and the mid bath separates the living area from the bedroom. And um, there are doors on each side of this bathroom that slide into place so you can close yourself off from either direction and create some privacy in here. Now I'm standing in the shower here, which I usually do. And let's get some measurements on ceiling height in this unit see how you taller folks are going to fare uh, in the shower from the shower base into the skylight. Wow, there is six feet, six inches of headroom. The overall headspace in here or ceiling height in here is six feet, eight inches tall. So, you know, a decent amount of space for some of you taller folks. Now the shower in here feels very nice and big and that's because the shower is a little wider than what we usually see in travel trailers. And so it just feel as, feels like there's plenty of room in here. You'll also notice there are three corner shelves for your soap and shampoo. Of course, there's a you know detachable shower wand up top. And then they've installed a retractable shower door here instead of a curtain, which is a fantastic option when you're taking a shower. It keeps the shower curtain from blowing in on you or leaking water outside of the shower. Now, Susan and I have switched places and she's in the shower and I'm on the other side of the bathroom. And so it's kind of nice to see her on camera every now and then. We don't see her enough in these videos. But anyway, uh, behind me here is where a big oversized mirror is over top of your vanity. Then they have this corner style cabinet, which you can store some extra things in there as well. A couple of towel hooks here for you. And then the vanity itself is a really good size, nice size sink beautiful faucet and plenty of countertop space. There's even an outlet here if you need to plug in a shaver or a hair dryer. Down below here is a little drawer so you can stow away some of your personal items. You have a couple of doors down below with storage below the sink. And then there's some open storage here behind the commode. Now this is a bit of an unusual setup. I've never noticed anything set up like this before, but the commode is kind of like right in front of the vanity. Now, if I was standing here brushing my teeth and getting ready in the morning and all that stuff, it's not really in the way, but for two people to jam in here together, somebody's not gonna be able to get to the vanity. Um, sitting on the commode in here, even with both doors shut, this, you know, this bathroom is very, very big. I can pass the elbow test on both sides. So here we are in the very front of this travel trailer now, showing you some of the storage area in this unit. It's fantastic. I'm standing up in the front of this camper in this storage area. It's got six feet, four inches of space in here. So if you have large, tall storage item, everything's gonna fit in this storage compartment and wait till you see the one in the back too. So here we are at the very back of this travel trailer and underneath of the owner's bed, there's another huge pass-through storage area. This travel trailer is the Forest River Grand Surveyor model number 268 FKBS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,973 pounds, a very impressive cargo carry capacity of 3,022 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 9,995 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,195 pounds. It measures in at 32 feet even and it can sleep two people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side, you walk into the gorgeous front kitchen area and living area. As we wrap on around, we come into the owner's bedroom, which has a beautiful fireplace set up. And behind me here is a super luxurious owner's bathroom with two vanities. You're going to want to check this out towards the end of this video. Now, our first impression when we walked in here was just an absolute wow. I mean, this trailer has a huge wow factor. The front kitchen up here is absolutely gorgeous. It's more like a residential kitchen that you would find in someone's home than in a travel trailer. And the way they've integrated the living and dining areas is very, very smart and well done. And so uh, we also went through the bedroom and into the bathroom and everything in here is just super luxurious. It is awesome. So let's get started walking through here. Now, just on my left hand side, when you first come in, you've got this really nice pantry closet. Now, 
This could be a coat closet, but I think the shelf in here is too high, and so I would consider these more of hat hooks than coat hooks. But nonetheless, you have all of this really nice storage right in here, very accessible right at your entry, and it, the closet is lit up as well, which makes it very, very nice. Now, as we wrap on around through the kitchen, you'll notice there are a couple of freestanding bar stools here, and there is no dinette in this camper, and so what they've done is just built a high top countertop with a couple of taller bar style chairs and this becomes your dinette area. You'll also notice that all of your controls are conveniently located right by the entryway and they have a couple of little key holders here as well for you. Now as we wrap on around you'll notice that the TV is integrated into the kitchen area but it's really in a perfect spot because it's right across from the nice comfy couch. Uh, and it also has a sound bar below so you get some excellent sound quality when you're watching movies or sports or whatever on TV. Now the amount of countertop space in here is just amazing because this is really what we would call sort of a U-shaped kitchen setup. So you're really going to max out on your countertop space and cabinetry for storage. So up top here we have a built-in microwave with some open storage up above. They have a little a little cord here to hold things in place for you and then there's some open storage next to that as well then you have these beautiful cabinet doors with the black glass inlays and this is all open storage behind all four of these doors all the way across now as we drop down onto this side of the countertop they did a really cool job with the cutting board it's got a little mounting bracket and you can you know stow your board away so it's out of the way but it's also really just a pretty cutting board so it's nice to show it off the countertops in here are absolutely beautiful you've got a huge front window here to let in tons of natural light there's also receptacles on each side of this countertop so you can turn on any and all of your kitchen appliances in here no problem then we have this beautiful single bowl sink with a very nice overhead gooseneck faucet with a sprayer which is a fantastic option in here and then of course we have another window over top of the countertop and cooktop space and speaking of the cooktop we have a three burner stove here so you can cook three different things at one time i don't know what you would have i would have hot dogs beans and sauerkraut all going at the same time in here this countertop area too has a receptacle up underneath so you can plug things over here like maybe make this your coffee bar or something along those lines now down below we have a bank of six drawers here which is phenomenal you can store away tons and tons of all of your kitchen appliances down below and there's even a little bottle opener here in case you want to crack open a cold beer now down below the oven and there is an oven in here i forgot to mention that uh, so if you want to cook a pizza or bake some cookies there you go down below that we have a nice drawer opening or door opening you can put a bin in there and maybe hold some of your larger pots and pans pull them out as needed now under the kitchen sink there is also some additional storage and then under this part of the countertop there's even more storage this is all open underneath by the way there are no side dividers so in that case if your trailers like that and many of them are these days they get rid of the middle dividers to lower the weight load in the camper you know you just have to put things in bins we use clear bins for just about everything in our rv that way we can see what's inside of them and pull them out as needed so you probably need to do something similar to that in this trailer and then finally as we wrap around we've got a furion refrigerator this is a great size fridge and freezer it's 12 volts so it runs off of the coach battery uh, which is fantastic no propane needed for this and then finally we wrap around to the couch area now up above the couch we have these three cabinets with all open storage behind them and then of course you have a nice big window on the back and on the side by the way this whole entire area for the couch and the refrigerator slide out which gives you so much more room and floor space in here. And then this is a triple recliner. So all three positions in here, you just pull the cord and sit back and you can relax and watch your TV. Also wanna point out there are outlets on this side of the couch. There's not one on this side, but that's close enough. If you need to, I don't know, plug in a computer or something like that while you're sitting here watching TV, you can certainly do that. A central vac is located on the wall just inside the owner's bedroom when you come in from the living area. Now before we head into the bedroom area, I just want to point out that they've got a nice two-tone color going on in here. The cabinets are the lighter color, but then you have these beautiful barn-style doors that slide in place to close off 
the owner's bedroom, and they also did a darker door here for the coat closet. So all in all, it creates a really luxurious feel in here. So let's check out the bedroom next. So while we're in here in the owner's bedroom, you can see that you're, you have a nice size bed in here. Let's see how big this bed is. I have a feeling it's a king size bed. It's 80 inches long and 66 inches wide. So this would be considered a residential size king bed. Now over top, you'll notice that we have these four cabinets that open up. So you have lots of storage up there. Then you've got a couple of reading lights underneath. So when you're laying in bed, you can enjoy a book before you fall off to sleep. On each side of the bed, there's also a window and a small shelf, plus a couple of USB ports. So if you need to charge a phone, tablet, Kindle, whatever, you can certainly do that. There are also uh, receptacles on each side of the bed. So I think if you had to plug in a CPAP or something like that, you could probably make it work. Um, but it, you know, it just depends. Now underneath of the bed, there is plenty of storage under there as well. So you can stow even more things away. Now at the foot of the bed is where the fireplace is located in this bedroom and it is such a great feature. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the idea of having a fireplace in the bedroom. When you have these electric fireplaces, they can either heat your room or not. You can turn off the heat and just enjoy the glow. Either way, you have a nice ambiance in your bedroom. Now this area is also where you would mount your TV above and this is the perfect location for this bedroom. You can see up top we have a cable and receptacle there. So great place to mount your TV. You also have a nice size window here, lots and lots of countertop space. And then on this side of, we have uh, four drawers that open up for storage. And on this side, we just have a big cabinet door for additional storage there. One last cabinet to show off in the bedroom before we head into this bathroom, which I know you're gonna love, is this big cabinet here. This is a wardrobe closet, so you can hang things up top in here and there's additional shelf down below to store more things. So we're shooting this bathroom from a little different perspective because we wanna show it off. It's so nice and luxurious and big. But here I am standing in the shower like I usually do. And as you guys know, I'm 5'11". Let's check out our ceiling heights in this camper and I think you're gonna be very impressed. So standing in the shower and up into the skylight, let's see what we have here. Gosh, six feet, nine inches of space inside the shower, but the normal ceiling height throughout this entire travel trailer is six feet, 10 and a half inches long. So between a king bed and super, hall, super tall ceiling height, for you taller folks, this might be the perfect travel trailer for you. Now inside the shower, it's a very good size. It's, it's wider than what we usually see. So it makes it feel much more comfortable in here. Now in each corner, there are a couple of shelves for your soap and shampoos. Of course, there's a shower wand in here that you can remove. And then it's got a retractable shower door so you don't have a curtain. And these retractable doors are great because they save a lot of space and they make it easy to enter and exit the shower. Now it's very, very rare that we find travel trailers that have double vanities in them, but this one does, and it just looks great in here. Now, starting from the top, there are two medicine cabinets in here, and they also have toothbrush holders built into them. So you can store your, store your toothbrush away, close your door, very, very nice and convenient. There's also a little backsplash in here behind the double vanities, which is a nice touch. There's also an electric outlet on each side of the countertop, and there is polenti of countertop space in here. Below the sinks, there's also plenty of storage down below. And there's even a little towel hook up here on the wall so you can hang your towels up here. And then there's a linen closet here with lots and lots of storage. This linen closet's, I don't know, almost two feet deep. Now, speaking of tons of closet space in a bathroom, check this out. This is probably the biggest linen closet we've ever seen in a bathroom. It's got adjustable shelves. It also has a bar up top. So you can use it to hang garments in here or you can adjust your shelves for storage. But the real treat in this one is it has a rough in for a washer and dryer unit. So you could certainly put those in here instead. And then you could really live inside this travel trailer year round because it's so nice having a washer and dryer. Susan will tell you about it all day long. <laughs> Now here I am sitting on the commode and there is one more storage spot in here and that's on my left hand side. There's all this open storage here. This bathroom is gigantic and luxurious. Forget the elbow test. I feel like a king sitting on his throne. 
Hey guys, let us know which one of these travel trailers you like the most and why down in the comments below. We can't wait to see what you think. But if you want to see even more travel trailers with front kitchens, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.